Welcome to my channel. Uh, I am Lily from uh, Stealth Lady Company. Uh, summer time is coming, so more and more ladies want to get their uh, hair removed. Um, now, more, a lot of uh, beauty salons starting to purchasing the hair removal machines. But uh, when they search on the internet, they find it is hard to find a suitable machine. They do not know, uh, shall I choose styled laser or IPL? What is the difference uh, for IPL and styled laser? So today, please follow me. Let's focus on how to uh, know the difference between styled laser and IPL. Uh, when talking about hair removal, actually styled laser and IPL, they have a very similar working theory, uh, which is the light energy will uh, break down the um, melanin in the hair follicle so that it will stop the hair grow again. This is the basic working theory. But when talking about the technology, it, it will become quite different. Here, this machine is a diode laser, which uses a different uh, laser stack inside of the handle. As you can see here, this will be the diode laser's emitter. Mm -hmm. And here, we also have an IPL. Which we will use the zero lamp inside of the handle. Let me show you what is the zero lamp. Inside of this handle, inside of IPL handle, the emitter will be a lamp like this. Mm -hmm. So, as you may see here, the emitter of the two machines are different, so which also decides the spot size of diode laser and IPL will also be different. Uh, usually, the diode laser will have a smaller spot size. For example, this one. This is our third generation diode laser uh, handle. Actually, we offer we offer totally three different spot sizes for this uh, latest generation diode laser. This is our big spot size. We can try to put it to the handle. You can see. This will be our final uh, spot size for diodes with the handle, uh, which is 15 by 13, uh, 15 by 30 milliliter. Uh, so this one actually is quite large spot size for diodes. But if you compare with IPL, if you compare with IPL, you will find still the IPL has a bigger uh, spot size because the emitter is a lamp. It has a bigger uh, area of the lamp. So usually IPL spot size will be bigger than uh, diode laser. And for the diode laser, now uh, a lot of companies still using the most classic spot size option, this one, which will be smaller but uh, can focus more energy together. Uh, the spot size will be 15 by 15. Mm -hmm. So this will be the, the first difference is the emitter. Um, laser stack for diode and IPL, then lamp for uh, IPL. And the second difference will be the spot size. IPL, IPL may be uh, a little bit bigger and diode maybe be a little bit smaller. And what else? A very important uh, about the wavelengths. The wavelengths of the two machines are different. The diode laser using the laser technology, which using the fixed wavelengths. Uh, usually, it will be the golden standard wavelength 808 nanometers, which is specifically focused in your uh, hair follicle, the melanin. So this machine, diode laser, 
also considered to be the golden standard machine for hair removal. While for uh, IPL machine, uh, they use the intense pulse light technology. So the wavelength it used is not a fixed wavelength, but it's a quite broad spectrum wavelength. As you can see here in this paper, IPL will use a large spectrum uh, wavelengths. Usually for IPL, we will offer different filters with different functions. Here, we see the filters of IPL. For example, this one, 530 nanometer wavelengths. It is not mentioning the fixed 530 nanometer. It actually <clears throat> means a section 530, uh, 530 nanometer to 1200 nanometer. It is section wavelength. It is the broad spectral, spectral. When we use this IPL handle, we can choose the specific filter and put inside of the handle like this, then we can do the shots. So uh, it will have the specific function. Later I will explain to you what will be the function of IPL. Okay, so you may wonder what does it mean uh, with a fixed wavelength and with a um, uh, broad spectrum wavelength. The difference is in the function, or you can say the effect. With the fixed wavelengths, this wavelength is specifically goes into focused into the uh, melanin in your hair follicle. So all the energy it supplies goes to break down your melanin in your hair follicle and uh, has great effect in uh, permanent hair removal. While for IPL, because it uses a wider spectrum, so um, different tissues will absorb different wavelengths, which will uh, lead to different functions. Which means if you do the treatment with IPL, actually when you do one shot, several different functions working there. For example, <clears throat> um, let me show you an filter. This is 408, 480 nanometer filter. Uh, this filter is more, you can see here, I have printed this paper. This filter is more near to ultraviolet ray. Uh, as we all know, ultraviolet ray has the function of uh, sterilization. So, um, this one is more near to uh, well like ultra well light weight. So if you use this filter to do the treatment, it actually has the function of sterilization. You can use this one to um, disinfect your skin to avoid or uh, make the acne less. This is how, how it achieves the effect. And meanwhile, it's also containing 580 uh, nanometer to 1200 nanometer. So this, this, this one actually also have the function of hair removal, skin uh, rejuvenation. Um, this is how it works. Um, this is how it works by one shot, but you can get different functions working at the same time. Okay, you may wonder, since you mentioned the ultra well light ray has the function of disinfectant, so why you use 480 nanometer? Why you do not use directly the ultra well light wavelength? Here is the answer. Ultra wavelength uh, mainly refers to the wavelength that below uh, 400 nanometer. But uh, such wavelengths also may lead to the 
uh, skin cancer or can uh, accelerate the skin aging. So to avoid such thing happen, we do not use uh, ultra well light ray. We use a better wavelength start, which starts from 480 nanometer. Mm -hmm. So now you understand how it uh, becomes true that by IPL one shot, several functions can working together. What will be the um, difference when it, you really start working? We can try. Let's try to do the shots by diode laser first. We click on the skin, click on the screen, choose, as you can see here, from the diode laser uh, software, you can see it is mainly designed for laser hair removal. So you click, it asks you to choose the skin tone. My skin tone may be like this, skin tone is type three. Choose hair thickness choose treatment area so that you may enter this parameter setting page and in this page we have the preset parameters which you can directly start to use it we click standby here and we can see what will happen before you do that uh, we suggest you to put on this goggle this goggle is designed for diode laser okay we click standby and do the shots we make it faster so you can see it better. As you can see, I'm wearing the goggles, so I cannot, I, I can uh, see nothing here. But I guess you may see various red lines coming out from the handle. Mm -hmm. It's the red line, but uh, it is not uh, dithering. But when we try IPL, because it is a fixed wavelength, we still need this paper. It is a fixed wavelength with wavelength of uh, 808 nanometer, 808, which actually is a kind of near infrared ray. So you can still see it, but uh, uh, you, you may see the light is weaker. It's not very uh, dazzling. Now we can see what happened with IPL. This is <coughs> this this is with filter of 530 nanometer with us. We put it on and uh, we choose here. We choose this IPL handle. As you can see here, it shows for five filters with different functions listed behind. Um, four, a, four H zero refers to acne treatment. Five three zero for vascular treatment. Five nine zero for pigmentation treatment. Four six four sixty for fair skin depilation. Four ninety for dark that skin hair removal. So different functions refers to different uh, different filters refers to different functions. Now we are trying this filter. We choose here. Under this filter, there will be two working modes. This one is super working mode. This one is normal working mode. We're going to try the super working mode. And with the pre uh, preset parameters, we stand by here. Okay. Still, we will need to put on the goggle for the IPL. Okay, now you may see. Well, turn down. This is the light for IPL. As you already see, it is quite dazzling. Why? The answer is here because IPL use a broad spectrum we have mentioned many times so it contains many visible lights so the light is more um, clear and more dazzling this is why
when you do the treatment, <clears throat> you should always put the goggles to protect your eyes. Okay, about is the main uh, difference for the two type of uh, machines, laser and IPL. And uh, next, we will need to talk about their price. The price is also very different. Um, generally speaking, the price of the IP, uh, the price of the diode laser machine will be about um, two to four times higher than the price of IPL. You may ask why. Uh, it's related with the technology and also related with the raw materials. Uh, for example, the main the main part, the emitter of diode laser, is many times higher, expensive than the emitter of the IPL machine. And besides, the lifespan of their emitter is also very different. The lifespan for diode laser can reach 20 million shots, which you can use for many years. But for IPL, our lifespan for IPL is 1 million shots, which is already very, very, very long uh, lifespan for IPL. Um, but still, <laughs> compared with 20 million shots, it seems a uh, bit shorter. Well, in the market, actually, other manufacturers, IPL, cannot reach 1 million shots. Their uh, lifespan for IPL is only around 300,000 shots or even down to uh, 100,000 shots because in some of the uh, technology in the side of the machine, which we may talk in our future degrees. Okay, so as you can see, the lifespan, this one, is 20 times of the IPL, but price is Two to three, uh, two to four times higher than IPL. So you may uh, make your choice. You may wonder, I, you may wonder, I still very hesitating, and I do not clear which one I shall choose. Here is my suggestion: If you looking for only looking for uh, laser hair removal, this one function, and you want a better machine for uh, this function, then I will uh, suggest you to choose the diode laser especially to choose our third generation intelligent diode laser, uh, which we will offer you totally three treatment tips, as you can see here. This will be super good for your uh, laser hair removal business. Uh, large, small size for larger area like back hair removal, middle, middle size for facial, and also this super nice uh, nose tip for the ear, ear tip, uh, for the small air bears, which is hard to reach. And now you can also see our cooling. You can see our cooling is really good. Now it shows the real time temperature of this tip is minus 13 degrees. If you're only looking for a professional laser hair removal machine, then this machine is definitely the best choice. But if you do not have a very high budget and uh, you need so many functions, you do not just need hair removal, you also want acne treatment, uh, photo rejuvenation, or uh, vascular treatment, then definitely uh, choose our IPL machine. It will make you very satisfied. Okay, here is all about today's sharing about diode laser and IPL. And in our future clips, we will share more uh, information about future machines. Welcome to follow us and check more details in our website, stylelaser.com. Thanks.